Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So continuing our uh, series on utility actions uh, this morning, I say this morning, could be any time your time, uh, we can have a look at how we can escape and unescape HTML, also known as decoding and encoding. I'm not going to go through um, a specific scenario because this is more of a, exactly what we call them actions, it's utility, so it could be any real scenario. It's more about the point that can I take some HTML, can I decode it? Um, sorry, can I encode it and then can I decode it? So scenario we've got, we've got a manual trigger with the user providing some HTML input. I'm just going to set it into a variable and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you on executing the flow just the, the what happens and, and how we can sort of manipulate that HTML. I say manipulate, encode it, decode it. Also, we call it escape and escape, trying to make it a little bit more user friendly for a low code perspective. So uh, first thing we'll do is we'll do, we'll escape. Uh, also known as encode, and we'll simply say, here's the HTML we want to pass in from the variable, and we want to encode it, and what we'll then do is we'll just do set variable, and we'll then update the variable itself with the result property from the escape. So the result from encoding utility actions is always the value that's been created by the action itself. Uh, now we'll do unescape. Uh, also known as decoding and again we'll pass the variable in that we've updated and then we'll do a super simple set variable again and we will set the value this time coming from utility uh, and escape and at that point really what should happen if I pass in some some uh, HTML at the start we should see that it gets uh, escaped, encoded, uh, and then it will be unescaped or decoded. So the result at the end should be exactly the same as the result that I passed in at the start. But it shows you the journey and it shows you how the, the actions actually work. So I'm just gonna manually trigger this flow and I'm gonna pop some data in, some super simple HTML. Here we go. So that's the HTML and I'll run that flow. And it will run through pretty quickly, I should imagine. So here's the variable. Okay, and we see the next variable should be, there we go. It's been escaped uh, or encoded, however you prefer to call it. And if we then look at the variable at the bottom, we'll see that that value has been correctly um, unescaped or decoded. And you can also, of course, see that on the output of the actions as well. So we can see this goes in and this is what comes out. And again, if we look at the uh, encoding, sorry, oh, that is the one we were looking at, sorry, it's utility escaping. So this is the uh, HTML going in, and this should be the escaped or uh, encoded HTML coming out. Cool. Okay, so hopefully that gives you um, a good overview of how these actions work and how you can use them to escape and unescape html uh, as ever if you have any questions please email us at support.encoding.com sorry support at encoding.com uh, or you can come visit the support portal at support.encoding.com